Hello and welcome to the United Stand. It is our Manchester United Transfer News Daily, another week where we give you all the latest transfer news and give it that real fan opinion. And what a weekend it's been. Liverpool didn't win the Champions League. We can all breathe a sigh of relief as United fans. But Ronaldo and Bale used that winning opportunity to really throw Real Madrid under the bus, so to speak, with their... Uh, dissatisfaction. Um, Bale basically saying not happy this season, wanting to be playing more regularly and going to speak to his agent this summer about potentially leaving Real Madrid. And then Ronaldo, clarity behind this. Ronaldo coming out and saying that he's going to announce in the next week or so something big about the future for him. And then he was asked about it yesterday and he said, you know, maybe it was the wrong time for me to do it, but this has been going on too long and I had to get it out. And um, I think that I think something's going to happen with Ronaldo and I don't necessarily I think most of us been there before and we expect it to be a new contract but I don't know I just don't know there just seems to be a dissatisfaction with Ronaldo and unless they're going to give him big money I, I think and he said it's not about the money anyway so I th also what I must just say about Real Madrid in a in a general sense is what a job Zidane's done they've won three Champions Leagues in a row if they want to win four and they didn't win La Liga I think Real Madrid accepts that this team is probably coming towards the end. They need to rejuvenate it. They need to go again. But what a team it's been. And maybe it's the time for everybody to move on. So the question really would be, before I talk about Martial and Mandzukic and people like that, if it was a choice between Ronaldo and Bale, the eyes in the top corner, who would you vote for? The poll's there for you to vote. Um, some things I would say is that, do I think Manchester United will sign Bale or Ronaldo? I think Bale or Ronaldo would be somebody United would like to sign if they were available. But... Bale's reportedly up to, on up to £600,000 a week. And I think there is a valid argument with Gareth Bale that I think, I think there's, he averages around 40 games a season, whereas Ronaldo averages around 50 games a season. So it's not as bad as people think it is with Gareth Bale in relation to his injury record. Bale's going to be 29 this summer. Ronaldo's just turned 33. So there's a four-year age gap there. But Cristiano Ronaldo is a better player than Bale. And, 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 and he still is now. And Cristiano Ronaldo is more of a winner consistent fit winner than Bale. I, I would go Ronaldo over Bale. I would because Ronaldo's got more of a more of a, a connection with Manchester United for me and Gareth Bale I feel has turned us down in the past. Ronaldo turned us down to levers. I, I, I totally admit that but I think what United need at the moment is is probably a leader. And is Gareth Bale a leader? It doesn't strike me as that. He's a fantastic player, but Ronaldo is a leader. And I think Manchester United lack that. And I also think that Cristiano Ronaldo could give us two, maybe three years in the Premier League at the very, very top. I don't know whether Ronaldo would come to United. The, the relationship with Mourinho would be a problem. I think, the, I think the relationship with the fans would be superb, but the Mourinho-Ronaldo dynamic, I don't know. Um, on top of that, he ain't going to be able to stat pad and he isn't going to win a Ballon d'Or at Manchester United unless something drastically changes. Bale, on the other hand, never won a Ballon d'Or. Not necessarily a concern for him. Wants to come back to the Premier League if it's true. And Bale at Manchester United. I mean, Man City are meant to be interested in him, but I don't see that. I think he's a much... I don't think he's a ticky-tacker player like Man City wants. He's, he's, a, he's a powerful flair player and I think that would suit Manchester United better. But where would you go with it? And what I will say as well is... For everybody saying this is not going to happen, well, Mourinho did say that we're not after attackers. But then he did say about Ronaldo a couple of weeks ago that when a player like that comes on the market, then of course Manchester United are going to be interested. It's not maybe not be in United's plans to do it, but if a player like that comes on the market, you've got to move. And it's no disrespect to Sanchez or Lukaku or Rashford or Martial or Lingard or Mata. The reality is Bale and Ronaldo are better than all of those players. And if that opportunity comes, United need to be pushing to be at the front of the queue because if one of our rivals get them, they're going to better. They're going to be better. And I just think, yeah, you know, I don't want attackers, but when attackers like that come on the market, it's a, it's, you know, maybe not in our plans, but we do need to do it. So cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. I think it's interesting. I personally think it could go one of many ways. I don't think both will stay. I think Bale and Ronaldo, Bale and Ronaldo could leave. I think Ronaldo, Bale could leave and Ronaldo could stay. I also think Ronaldo could leave and Bale could stay because he becomes the big man at Man uh, Real Madrid then. So it's really interesting. But for all those people who are going, oh, it's just the same old story, it really isn't. I've lived every transfer window where we've been linked to Bale and Ronaldo. And this is very, very different. You've got two players using an opportunity that should have been about breaking history and, and a really happy moment. Both players used it as an opportunity to air their dissatisfaction at the club. And that, to me, having just won a Champions League and third in a row just shows you the dissatisfaction of those players. So I think something's going to happen. 
I think Manchester United should be in for him. Um, and if it was down to me, I'd go Ronaldo. But let us know what you think. Uh, Martial, apparently, um, we are trying to get... Well, we're in talks with Martial. was a bit of some big news over the weekend. But I don't think that's a secret. I think Manchester United have been in talks with Anthony Martial. I think the issue is Anthony Martial maybe has an issue with Jose Mourinho and how he's treated him, especially since Sanchez came. And Martial probably wants to play week in, week out. And Mourinho probably can't offer him that. So... I think Manchester United would love to get him on a longer term contract because you know, from a from an Ed Woodward, from a board point of view, of course you want to retain a player like Martial. He's got massive market uh, potential, he's got massive marketability and, and he's a really good talent. So they would be like, we want you to stay, whether Mourinho picks you or not next week is to do with you and Mourinho, but we want you on a long term contract because we want to keep players like that. It's more about Martial and what's best for him and Mourinho and what he can offer Martial. And I think that's where the stumbling block's going to be. So talk of him being in talks for a new deal, that is not sensational news to me. That's something that pretty much we've all heard from the club anyway, that they are trying to do that. It's whether Martial wants to commit under Mourinho and whether Mourinho can offer Martial the things that he would want. So we'll have to see with that. What I can say is that a lot of people and a lot of rumours and a lot of it's out publicly anyway that Fellaini is going to go for Manchester United and that it probably will happen in the next seven days. When you think about World Cup, teams are going to be getting off very, very soon. I don't know when the cut-off dates are. I know there's some friendlies coming up. So teams are going to be getting part of their uh, national setups very, very soon. So this week could be really important for Manchester United in relation to players going. Darmian, uh, Fellaini, maybe even Daly Blind, although Darmian and Blind are not part of the World Cup. They will have friendlies. And um, who else? Yeah, Fellaini as well. But also players coming in. I mean, will we see the Fred deal get done before the World Cup? Are we going to make a move for Alexandro? Is there anybody else that we're going to make a move for? And also what I just said there, I think the Bale thing's going to wait. I think Bale, not going to the World Cup, but I think he's obviously going to go on holiday. He's going to have a chat with his agent. Ronaldo said he's going to announce something this week. So let's see what he's going to announce. And he has got a World Cup to go to. So maybe, maybe, maybe Ronaldo's just going to drop that bombshell. I'm leaving Real Madrid and then let it go over the summer. But remember with Ronaldo, as I said yesterday when we when I went live, Ronaldo's got a massive, massive, I think his buyout clause, I've, I've heard rumours of 800 million. Now, he can't just say, I'm going to leave. Real Madrid have got to let that happen. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Another player who said that they want to play in the Premier League, and Demarcio linked us to him last week, is uh, uh, Mandzukic of Juventus. Um, he's an interesting player. He's just turned 32, so he's very old. Um, in relation to a sort of player that United should be bringing in. Of course, we brought Zlatan in and that worked really, really well. But Mandzukic, a lot of people like Mandzukic, hard worker. I don't like him. I don't, I've don't. i got to put my hands up and say I don't like him. There are certain players in football I just don't like their playing style. I don't like Mandzukic. I never, ever thought he was going to be linked to Manchester United. And I've said it many times on on the on our That's Football channel when we've been doing Champions League watch-alongs that I don't like Mandzukic. And I like Juventus, but I don't like Mandzukic. I find him slow, tall. Um, is the anti-style of football that I like. Um, he's different to Fellaini, I've got to say that. He has got more to his game than Fellaini, but I just don't like that sort of player. But i tell you who does, Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho wants that long ball option, and Mandzukic could give him that as a backup striker. So that would be quite inter- interesting. The only thing I'd say about that is, about a backup striker, Lukaku obviously is our number one, but our backup striker, I thought it was meant to be Rashford or Martial. So if we brought Mandzukic in, Mourinho never doesn't want to play Lukaku, so it's only really going to be if we need to go two up top or if Lukaku got injured, which obviously we don't want. Then he's going to use Mandzukic. So bringing in a Mandzukic, does that not potentially knock um, Rashford down? I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Um, anyway, was that that was about it for this morning. Oh, also, Joe Hart. I must just say about Joe Hart. Do we? Would you want Joe Hart at uh, Manchester United? I personally don't really think that Joe Hart is a player that we should go for at Manchester United at all. Um, I would be very, very, very disappointed if we did go for him. Um, I think he's uh, not only is he a Manchester, an ex-Manchester City player, but he's a, he's a player that Manchester City got rid of. So he's a Manchester City reject. Um, I also think most of all with Joe Hart, he's just not a very good goalkeeper. He really is not a very good goalkeeper. So I would not want him anywhere near Manchester United, and I hope that that deal is not going to happen. So there we go with Joe Hart. No, no, no. Right at the end of the show as well. But big week for United. Um, The season's really over now with the Champions League done. And um, so bank holiday in England here, so I wouldn't expect anything today. But it could be a really big four or five days for Manchester United. Um, I would expect at least one deal in or out to be done. And as I said, 
I think Fellaini's going to announce his, new, his future very, very soon. That are the root there, the rumours. Um, and I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen with Bale and Ronaldo. I don't think it's massively intrinsic to Manchester United's summer plans. I really don't. Um, although some people feel that we've, we've been working on a Bale deal for quite a while. I think if Bale comes, we probably do lose Martial. Um, but the Ronaldo thing's interesting. I just think United will be poised to do something. If those two are going to leave Real Madrid, I think United will be well poised to do something. Of course, you could get into all the debates about would you let De Gea go for Ronaldo and all that lot. I still wouldn't let De Gea go for anybody. But who would you have if it was really simplistic? Ronaldo or Bale? I in the top right-hand corner to cast your vote. Use the comments below to talk about everything we've spoken about there. But literally, if it's Ronaldo or Bale, who would you go for? Get comments in below and tell us who you'd go for and why. In you know, we probably won't get either. But if if that was the choice, because you never know, you never know. Thanks everyone for watching. Drop a like on the video, and we're live again at eight o'clock tonight. But if something happens in the day, we'll go live. It's that silly season at the moment, isn't it? Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you all soon.